Hello everyone and Happy New Year to you. In today's video, I'm going to review to you the top 10 stocks of 2024 that are generating free cash flow and highly regarded by analysts. These stocks are chosen based on several criteria such as strong analyst ratings, they must be free cash flow positive, price to free cash flow ratios must be below 15 times or 20 times, and as well as their branding in which I recognize these companies from the onset. And for each stock, I will talk about their corporate profile and what I like about them. So without further ado, let's get started with the first stock on my list, PayPal. To get started, I just want to do a quick shout out to Seeking Alpha as I'll be using their stock screener to filter for the stocks I will be sharing later. You can see how I use a mix of analyst ratings, valuation matrix and profitability numbers to drill down over 8,000 US stocks into just 173 stocks. If you're unfamiliar with Seeking Alpha, it is a platform that provides access to thousands of high quality articles written from experts and professionals, as well as Seeking Alpha's own quants. You can also create your own portfolio, get real-time alerts, and use various tools in the platform itself. So in a nutshell, Seeking Alpha is a must-have resource for any serious US stock investor. The best part, Seeking Alpha is offering a special New Year deal for my viewers. If you sign up now, you can get Seeking Alpha Premium for only $167 for the first year. This is a huge discount from the regular price of $239. Plus, you get a 7-day free trial so you can try it out risk-free. This offer is only valid until 5th of January 2024. So don't miss this chance to get access to the one, one of the best platforms for stock market investing. To sign up, just click on the link down below. And by using my link, you will also support my YouTube channel and help me create more videos like this. Thank you for your support. First on the list is PayPal. It is easily the most popular payments platform that enables users to send and receive money, shop online and access various financial services. PayPal dominates the payments market with a nearly 42% market share worldwide. Stripe comes in second with a 19% market share, almost half of that from PayPal. What I like about PayPal is its strong economic mode of network effect and brand recognition. So whenever you transact through PayPal, you know that you trust PayPal's branding. So you are willing okay, to make online payments using PayPal. So on top of that, the company has a tailwind of a rapidly expanding digital payment space due to the COVID pandemic. So on top of that, uh, the that's being said, right? The fintech space is highly competitive and I myself has shifted to new entrants like WISE Okay, due to the cheaper transfer fees and that could potentially pose a threat to PayPal's market share in the long run. Okay, second stop on the list is Alphabet. Okay, Alphabet needs no introduction as the parent company of Google, the leading online search and advertising platform in the world. Right? So Alphabet also owns many popular businesses of their own, such as YouTube, Gmail, Google Cloud, Android, and more. Okay, despite facing competition from other tech giants like Microsoft, Apple, and more, Alphabet still has that huge scale and the network effects and also innovation capabilities that I really like. Personally, I find myself intertwined in the Google's spider web where I publish videos via YouTube, check my schedule using Google Calendar, check how to travel or, or take M MRT to some place using Google Maps and even my Prism Plus TV is controlled by the Android interface. Honestly, I don't even know how to function if you plug okay, Google out from my life. Laugh out loud. Okay, let's talk about our third stock, Wana Bros Discovery. Okay, so for Singapore investors who don't know what this company is about, it is a media and entertainment company formed by the merger of Warner Media and Discovery in year 2021. So the company owns some of the most popular and valuable brands and franchises in the industry, such as HBO, CNN, Discovery Channel, the DC Comics, and Game of Thrones. 
Although it is uh, like a distant third place from Netflix and Disney+, Plus, the company still has a large customer base with more than 200 million subscribers across the linear and streaming platforms. The reason why I like this stock is because I think it has been temporarily oversold thanks to the Mr. Market's overreaction to the Hollywood strikes as well as the recent subscription price hikes. And while many investors are spooked by their losses in year 2023, which dragged down their share price by a huge chunk, like over 60 to 70% in the past years, they are still churning out free cash flow of $2 billion USD. So not to mention the intellectual properties to produce never-ending movies like Aquaman 2, Godzilla, X-Kong, and also Barbie, right? The highest grossing movie for them ever. Fourth stop is Booking Holdings, the largest online travel booking platform in the world. All right, so the company operates various brands like Booking.com, Priceline, Agoda. Agoda is my personal go-to website for hotels booking. Uh, kayak, rental cars, and even open table. Okay, this connect travelers with many different travel related services. Okay, booking holdings benefits from the huge scale and the network effect. As more users and accommodations join the platform, this larger user base attracts more hotels to uh, join as well, which in turn will attract more users as well. So, creating a very nice flywheel effect and the company boasts a very high free cash flow margins of 25 percent and is incredibly capital light due to all the online platforms so they don't have a lot of capex involved with the huge cash generated booking holdings is also uh, ramping up the share buyback program so the future is bright for the travel services sector as a whole Having left COVID-19 behind and with such an aggressive growth projected going forward, online travel services seem like one of the best places to be positioned in as an investor. Hey, the last US stock that I have is Meta Platforms, the new name of Facebook, also known as the world's largest social media company, or rather a controversial company, right? So Meta Platforms owns various apps and services, uh, namely Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, Messenger, Oculus, and Workplace. All right. The mode simply comes from the enormous base of more than 3.5 billion monthly active users across their family of apps, and more than 10 million businesses use their advertising and commerce tools. Meta is also no stranger to AI as it leverages on the existing data and AI to offer personalized and value-added services such as social commerce, gaming, and also their new venture VR. Okay, after having a rough year in 2022, plucked by the slow growth in ad spend, Apple's new regulations, and the bursting of the Metaverse bubble, Meta's earnings rebounded strongly in 2023 due to the strong growth in ad revenue powered by Rails. In my own opinion, Meta platforms still have a lot of potential when you realize that they haven't really monetized WhatsApp okay, with over 1 billion users and the AR VR device um, remains like a bonus to the stock as the, the company continues to develop a leading roadmap in the segment itself. That being said, one should always watch out for the competitors uh, like TikTok and Twitter or you call it uh, x.com, which will take away the much needed attention or eyeballs from Meta's products. Before we move on to the next one, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update on these investing ideas. As usual, to show my appreciation, there's a financial mean for you Okay, for the next five stocks are Singapore stocks. And for Singapore stocks itself, I still prefer to use Web Pro, and these are the criteria I've utilized. So free cash flow positive means it's above zero. Okay, the price 
lesser than free cash flow 15 times and the analyst consensus at least a neutral or a strong buy rating. Our sixth stock is leading Pan Asian retailer Dairy Farm Group. As at 30 June 2023, the group operated over 10,000 outlets across household brands like Welcome in Hong Kong, uh, Cold Storage Guardian 7-Eleven in Singapore, and IKEA in Hong Kong and Macau, Indonesia, Taiwan, and more. Okay, so although dairy farms' net profits have been coming down, it is still generating increased free cash flow in the past decade. What makes me interested in the stock is that it is trading at an all-time low for the price over free cash flow. Right now, only 4.7 times as compared to above 20 times before year 2018. This is probably due to the e-commerce boom, okay, driven by COVID pandemic. Uh, but with a sturdy domestic consumption and pickup tourism in Hong Kong and China, the earnings will continue to recover and dividends may rebound again. So dividend yield may reach 6% based on the year 2020 dividends of US 16 cents. Stock number seven is none other than Comfort Delgro, the transport giant that has been making headlines for increasing the taxi fares left, right, center. Okay, so while Comfort is present in seven countries, Singapore still drives over 50% of revenue for the company. While it's bad for consumers like me when they introduce platform fees and extended timings for taxi surcharge, it will boil well for the company and the investors. With their net cash position, Comfort is also able to expand into new countries and uh, reinvest back the cash flow into future engines of growth, such as EV charging, EV as a service, and operating EV fleet in future. The eighth stock is Raffles Medical, which provides integrated private healthcare services mainly in Singapore but also uh, extend to other countries like Vietnam, Cambodia, Japan, and also China in the recent years. What I like about Raffles Medical are three things. First, their core business is still strong and cash flow generative, although their profits and the revenue have dropped significantly due to a one-time boost in the previous year from COVID itself. Okay, their balance sheet also remains strong with a net cash position of 239 million and they are also aggressively buying back their own shares when the share price came down below $1.10. Okay, our second last stock is Thai Beverage, a leading beverage company in Southeast Asia and the largest in Thailand. Part of the STI index, it owns many different F&B brands like Chang Beer, FNN, 100 Plus, and even franchise outlets like KFC in Thailand. Okay, so there are two main things to like about Thai Bev is that number one, it owns a diversified portfolio of F&B offerings with lots of room for growth. And second, it trades at a relatively cheaper 12.5 times pri uh, price to earnings at the time of this video, significantly lower than that of its industry peers like Hennigan, Ma uh, Malaysia and Carlsberg although they have better branding in my own opinion. The last stock on my list is Semcorp Industries. As a leading renewables player in Asia, Semcorp has really transformed its portfolio from brown to green. If you look at the recent announcements, it is clearly on the path to drive this sustainable energy transition and the share price has also followed suit and also highlighted this achievement by jumping 300% in the past three years. Despite the sharp increase in the share price, Semcorp Industries still seem to be undervalued relative to the peers. So Semcorp Industries last changed hands at 10.2 times price to earnings ratio, lower than the industry average of 15.7 times and lower than our close relative or our neighbor, YTL Corp Berhad of 13.1 times. And that's it for my top 10 stocks you can consider in year 2024.
Of course, this is not financial advice and you should always do your own research before investing in any stock. But I hope that this video has given you some ideas and inspiration to kickstart your own um, ideas, right? So what do you think of these top 10 stocks? Will you be buying any of the stock? Let me know in the comments down below and also help me to smash the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more stock analysis and updates. And just a quick reminder, don't forget to grab Seeking Alpha's 30% off New Year deal. Try it out risk-free with a 7-day free trial. This offer is only valid until 5th January 2024. So take action today to sign up by the link down below and also support my channel at the same time too. Next up, if you have the time, you can watch this video where I talk about 5 cheap dividend stocks. As always, remember to do your own due diligence. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.